Hey, I'm back. You're back. We are back. I'm Jay Lo. This is Highs with Lo, my channel, wherein I go out and do stuff, or use stuff, when I go out and do stuff, and come back and tell you about it. If that appeals to you, please consider subscribing. Love it. Be fantastic. Would make my day. Today is one of those days where I'm going to review, unbox, and review a new bag. More specifically, a backpack. I am excited. I love getting new packages in the mail. But I'm a little bummed because this whole coronavirus thing, I've got to, I had to cancel a bunch of plans and stuff. I was supposed to take some trips. So now how am I going to test this out on a trip when I can't take any trips? I mean, prices are super cheap for flights and such right now. Ridiculous. Uh, and it's tempting to go and take a trip. A cruise, perhaps. Cruises are dirt cheap. Have you looked at the cruise prices? Of course, you don't want to get stranded on a cruise. Anyway, I digress. I was on Reddit in the many bag, many baggers sub what? Sub, subreddit. And someone asked if I had heard about Monoprice's Focus bags. And I had it. And Monoprice, I don't know if you know, but they're very well known for having quality peripherals like cables is what they're originally known for, for a cheap price. So if you need a cheap USB cable or a cheap, whatever, HDMI cable or whatever, Monoprice usually has them for pretty cheap and they'll send it out to you quick. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I've been using them for a long time. So I know about them. And so I was intrigued about their bags because they, oh, the other thing they're known for is having some decent quality headphones for cheap, uh, other speakers and stuff for pretty cheap, but good quality. So when they said there were bags by Monoprice, I thought I would try them out and see because as you'll see, very low price point. So if they can keep the quality high, but keep the price point low, I'm all in baby. So here we go. That will do it. Cables, computer networking, TV wall mounts. T TV wall mounts. I can't talk today. I didn't warm up my mouth. Uh, gaming, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Packaging stuff. There's one called the Form Work Backpack. Form Work Backpack. And then there's number two, the Form Tech Backpack. All right. <laughs> we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. I need a better gaffer. Okay, so they have two bags that I was interested. They actually have three total ones. Sorry, they have four total. One's a tote. One's kind of a messenger, which I wasn't interested in. Either of those. And then they have a tech backpack and they also have one called the work backpack. And I couldn't really see major differences with these online except for aesthetics. And uh, coming in at 50 bucks, I said, shoot, I'll just get both, compare it and show it to you guys. And I can't decide, should I do two separate reviews or do I do them both together? Cause I'm not gonna be able to use them at the same time. So let's do this, let's do two separate reviews. You gotta do two separate reviews, right? So here is the work backpack. I'm gonna set this aside. This will be then the next challenger, a new challenger. <laughs> May as well just open it and show you both and then we'll, we'll do a separate review on both of them. Okay, this one is the form work backpack. Again, saying same things on here. Modern tech-friendly silhouettes featuring premium materials and exacting construction, 1680D coated ballistic nylon, YKK water resistant zippers, dedicated tablet pocket up to 12.9 inches, TSA friendly fits most 15.6 inch laptops. Uh, this one has nicer, just gonna, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, the work one has nicer feeling 
straps, just feeling them right now than this one. Anyway, that's what the review's for, right? So I'm gonna go put these through their paces at some point, come back and tell you about it. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for sticking around. So, this is gonna be a continuation of my review of this Monoprice, monoprice.com work backpack. So if you remember previously, I just opened the box and there was a work version and a tech version. So I chose to use and review the work version first and spoiler, I, I like it. I like for 50 bucks, I think I really like it. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it and then we'll compare to these other bags that I've been also using and working through. So this thing is very similar in size to most of the other backpacks that I've been using. It's about 26 something, 27, maybe 28 liters. So similar height and we'll see that in a second. The fit and finish is pretty good. So the outer polyester is very reminiscent of the standard air backpacks. So it's not X-Pack, it's the standard uh, Cordura type of feel. Feels like Cordura. The hardware is pretty good. It's YKK zippers and they're Aqua Guard all the way around, which is nice. Gives you that a little bit of extra security against the elements, which is cool. They open up pretty darn nicely, we'll get into that. Uh, I think just aesthetically, it looks pretty good. It's very plain, it's nothing nothing earth shattering, right? It's nothing like, oh my God, that's a great looking bag. No one's gonna really compliment you on this thing. No one's gonna say, hey, where'd you get that bag? Or that's a cool looking bag. And some of my bags, people do do that for. Like the, my Alchemy Equipment 222, people say, hey, that's a cool looking bag. Uh, so you're not gonna get any style points with this thing. It's pretty utilitarian and that's okay. It's $50, remember, we're talking 50 bucks. Okay, so let's just go up from out to in and talk about stuff. So these straps are pretty nice, pretty nice. Check this out up here. They're, they're well padded and thick. They don't feel flimsy. They have a nice mesh here, they, presumably for aeration, although you're gonna get a little sweaty in this thing, just, but not sweatier than other backpacks. Got some nice webbing here. Seems to be well put together. There's not a lot of flyaway threads. Like that. Hardware's pretty good. It's nice plastic. It's not cheap plastic. You've got some good padding here, a nice foam pad here and here. And then, and then, you've got this pass through for luggage, which is great. I love it. I love it. It's padded. It doesn't need to be padded, but there's foam in here and it pass, It would pass right through for your suitcase to go through. So they were thinking there. I love that. It makes everything more stable when you're carrying it around. Coming down to the bottom here. It's a different material and it looks more rubberized. Check it out. Kind of rubberized and it, it's a tighter weave and it, you can you might imagine that it's like coated more weatherproofed anyway whatever it is it's it's more durable on the bottom than the rest of the bag good it's a good thing i don't know what it is definitely not leather and it's not super rubbery hear that yeah. Sounds nice. Does it stand up by itself? Not so much. This is fully packed out for my work, going to work supplies, and it doesn't, it doesn't really want to stand up by itself. All right, moving over to the front. Oh, sorry, moving to the top. There is a handle. It's nothing great. It's not super padded. It's a piece of nylon webbing with another piece of nylon webbing wrapped around it and there's a little foam in there. It's not, it's not as nice 
as some of the other handles, but it's very utilitarian. You know, get the job done, it's fine. You're not gonna carry it long distances with this thing anyway, right? Cool. And the absence of any side pouches, most notably, no water bottle pocket. There's no water bottle pocket on this thing, and I like water bottle pockets. There's actually no other side pouches or hidden compartments. Some of the other bags in this range uh, have like a side zipper here or something, some, some other side organization. This one does not, and that's okay. 50 bucks, remember, we're talking 50 bucks here. So, moving toward the front, obviously, this pouch right here, I've got my power bank in there, and that's about it. It's not lined with anything special. It looks like ripstop, though, you know, with the checkerboard pattern. You can get a, a view of that. <clears throat> there you go. Can you see the checkerboard pattern in there? Like turn it a little bit, maybe we can see it off the light. Anyway, we'll probably get another view of it too inside because it continues inside. It's nice, spacious, goes the whole width of the bag, it's cool, simple. There's no inner organization in there. It's just a nice pouch. Let's get that back in there for now. Up top here, another pouch right here, pocket. Pretty shallow, and again lined with the same ripstop stuff. It's not soft or anything inside, it's just, it's just the nylon. I've got Carmex in there. Be nice for quick access. Nice quick access. And that's it, that's the front organization. This and this. Now, we get into the, I would say the secondary, secondary pouch, secondary compartment, this way with dual zippers going this way and this way. Open it up. Same, that same ripstop stuff. Can you see that? If I move it like that, maybe the shadows can get you a good view. It's not super thin. I mean, sorry, it's not super thick. It, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't feel great. It feels, it feels kinda cheap. It doesn't feel great. But, it's ripstop and I don't think it's gonna just tear on you. It just doesn't feel quality. I don't know how good quality is, but it doesn't feel quality. Anyway, this thing goes all the way here to the bottom right here, and it's padded on the bottom right here. There's a little foam padding right here at the bottom of this compartment here. And it, 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 gets, it, it expands a little bit, and it doesn't intrude so much into the main compartment, which is nice. So you can stick stuff down here, and you have this much. That's a good two inches here. Good two inches of width that you can pack into, which is nice. So it's a good size secondary compartment with organization. Got some pen stuff in here, right here. I don't know what you put in there. Cards, it's very shallow. This is kind of like they just put it there to put it there because I don't know what you would put in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one has some foam padding. It's soft here, this, you see that here? It, it, there's a bit of foam in here to protect whatever you put in there. These don't have it. Can you hear that? Hear, hear that? That's it's crinkly. It's kind of crinkly, like paper sounding, which is okay. And then it has some decent stitching on the top to round everything out and make it more durable. Nice, good secondary compartment. Now we get to the main compartment. Great. Main compartment, dual zips right here on the top, dual zips. Again, YKK, the, the pull, the pull, the zipper pulls, pulls? Why is that hard for me to say? The zipper pulls are not great size and they don't have really good grips on them, but they're okay, it works. The advantage is they're not huge and jangling around and stuff. This thing opens entirely, super clamshell, like... That, ta-da. So, the lid, again, has this lined with ripstop stuff here. And then it has this organization here, this big voluminous pouch thing. I don't know what I would put in here, really. It just gives you some organization, but uh, it's kind of floppy. Oh, additionally, it's good to know, there's padding here. There's foam padding 
in the lid right here. So it would be protecting whatever's in here from here. There's a nice foam padding in it, which is good. Then you got this small little secondary dealio right here. You can put your water bottle in there, I suppose. Although it takes up room in the main compartment and it's a little unwieldy to get to. You have to open up the entire main compartment to get it. <laughs> so this is what I bring to work. Some snacks, more snacks, healthy nuts, trail mix, and a stethoscope, Bluetooth speaker, clutch, super clutch. And then I brought this car to work because I wanted to give it to a lucky uh, patient, but I didn't find anyone cool enough to give it to. But I was cleaning out my garage, Mary Kondo style, and this did not spark enough joy to keep, but I think. I think some lucky kid would like it. Notice I'm not genderizing here. Who could it be? Anyway, it's gonna be a special kid that gets it. Here we go. This is the only branding on this thing. Form right here. And so this is for a tablet, or they say it's for a tablet. You can put anything you want in there. Has some padding for protection. So this is all padded, look. You get that? Look at that. All foam padding right here. And it's just the same ripstop nylon feeling stuff. So overall good padding protection for the, the laptop compartment, which is right here. Laptop's here. Easily fits a 15 inch MacBook. Put that down here. And all the way to the back, so there is a plastic sheet in here, and it gives you some support and probably helps distribute the weight, although there are no hip belts that really help bring the weight to your hips and get it off your back. But it helps probably distribute and protect a little bit, gives it some sturdiness, this plastic sheet back here. In addition, this is kind of velvety here, right here. Let me give it up closer. <laughs> Velvety stuff. Soft. Cool. This, this has a lot of sounds to it, like this crinkly nylon stuff. Yeah. And then this soft felt. It's nice. It's a nice touch they put in there so it doesn't scratch up your very expensive laptop. This whole thing's lined. The tablet pouch is not lying though, which is, maybe it makes less sense because my tablet, maybe I'm putting in there without a case. And so the case, the screen would get scratched more versus my laptop, it's always gonna go enclosed and the screen's always gonna be protected. Eh, whatever. Um, it goes all the way to the bottom. Laptop compartment goes all the way to the bottom. There's a little padding here, but not that much to protect your laptop. It's a little foam, but you just have to be cognizant of putting it down like that. Your laptop might hit. So be gentle, be gentle. Uh, so that's it from out to in. I thought, like I said, the build quality is pretty nice. There's not a lot of flyaway threads. There's, everything looks to be pretty tight. They did a pretty good job on quality control. The QC, they did a good job on the QC. And that's it, yeah. So let's compare to some recent bags that I've had, right? The aforementioned Air. So this is the Air Flight Pack 2. And look at, look at the material. It's almost, look at that. It's very similar in feel and look. Yeah, very, very similar. Similar, similar size of weave and feel. Hand feels similar. Differences are some of the, the hardware on the air, it like the zipper pulls especially. Look at these zipper pulls. Nice. Matte black with the, with the little pull here. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to grasp. Nice. And it just it just flows a little easier. These aren't aqua guards, so they don't stick quite as much either. Anyway, so that's the Air Flight Pack 2. It's a little bit smaller. So I feel like I could get more into this mono price bag than the Air Flight Pack. It's a little taller. I always feel like when I was packing this air out, 
it gets a little tight for the same amount of stuff that I put in. It's a little bit tight. Oh, the inner, the inner stuff here. This feels nicer than the inside of the monoprice bag. All right, that's basically it. The air's not my favorite bag, but the fit and finish, a little tighter than this, a little tighter. So, most recent bag I reviewed prior to this was this, the Brown Buffalo Conceal, which, build quality, not quite there, but design sense and design touches, this is still it. This thing's badass in terms of design touches. I love it. So if, if they even stepped it up to this, level of quality in terms of materials and fit and finish, this would be all day. Which is why in my review of this thing, I recommended buying their $300 made in the USA version because it's better quality materials and I'm sure workmanship and it's guaranteed. So the Brown Buffalo Conceal is cool. It's freaking cool. I like it a lot. This has better, tighter build quality though even though maybe some of the design choices are plainer and not as innovative. Similar size. So this was a 26 liter bag. The brown Buffalo Conceal is a 26 liter bag. So I'm gonna say this is, the mono price is 27, something like that in comparison. Look at that. Yeah, so I, this is still a fantastic bag to me, great bag. And then we'll get to its sister bag. This is the Monoprice Tech bag, which um, I, haven't, I haven't used yet. So this will be my next review. I'm going to assume it's gonna be similar fit and finish. Certainly on first blush, the materials look the same. It, it's very similar materials. It just has different features and a different aesthetic to it. And hopefully, hopefully I'll like it as much, hopefully. Because there are some features on this that I'm looking forward to trying to, to use to see if I like if they're, if they're thought out and accessible. They're similar size. All right. So, I'm going to say when I was walking in with this thing like this, like this, when I came in, like this, I had a, I had a flashback like I was Mr. Rogers, you know, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I'm really saying how old I am here, but so he would come in, take off his sweater. Or his jacket, put on a sweater, switch out, change his shoes for slippers. Hello neighbor, how are you today? Just like that, had that flashback. Anyway, uh, that's it, that's it. This is the, the monoprice.com form work backpack in black. They do have other colors, they have two other colors, 50 bucks. And I'm gonna say, if you have 50 bucks to spend and you don't need a lot of bells and whistles, meaning like other straps, other compartments, you need a utilitarian bag that is not crazy looking, either way, tech, it's not super tech, it's not super outdoorsy, it's not super like hipstery, it's just a, a, a backpack. I don't think you're gonna go wrong with this thing because I feel like the build quality is nice. And the materials are pretty nice. The inside's a little bit iffy with the kind of plasticky sounding nylon, but overall it's, it's, it's a good back. It's a good back. Things I would, you know, the things that you get with paying more would be like sternal strap, maybe a little bit more thoughtful shoulder straps here. You, you, wouldn't, need a, you wouldn't need a hip belt with this thing because it's not gonna be that heavy. You wouldn't really need load lifters on this thing because it's not that heavy, but you might get some side pouches or water bottle pocket or handles over here, other ways to grip it. Maybe slightly different zipper pulls, like slightly bigger. But that's about it. Like this thing is pretty solid, pretty solid. Yeah, that's it. If you like that, you want more, please subscribe. I would love it if you subscribe. That's it for now. Everyone's staying home, can't go out and do stuff. <laughs> so usually I say, get out there, do stuff, come back and tell people about it. But for now, actually kind of stay home. Go, watch some videos, watch some videos, get ideas to go out and do stuff, get inspired so that when this self quarantine, social distancing is over, you have plenty of ideas to get out there. You're gonna be energized. You're gonna to wanna to do stuff and it's gonna be great. People are gonna celebrate like it's 1999, right?
Right. So, J-Lo, 